Dear friends in photography, welcome to Asia Photo Festival and greetings from the International Federation of Photographic Art, or FIAP, as it is popularly known. I hope all of you and your loved ones are keeping well and staying safe. The coronavirus pandemic has affected all of us and events worldwide have to be held in different ways like the online gatherings and virtual photographic exhibitions that have been organized by Asia Photographers' Union. Let us hope that the pandemic will be brought under control soon. But meanwhile, we need to transform ourselves digitally, as this virtual model could be here to stay for some time before we could meet in person again. FIAP is founded in 1950. In the year of our 70th anniversary, we are proud to announce the birth of FIAP Photo Academy. The Academy is the brainchild of FIAP President Ricardo Bussi, who has always hoped to create an academy that could, on one hand, provide courses to its members, such as training FIAP certified judges, and global photographic courses in partnership with universities and photography schools. Then on the other hand, create and organize events online with the intention of increasing FIAP's engagement with photographers worldwide and making FIAP better known to all. The courses of FIAP Photo Academy will start in the middle of 2021. At this moment, the main effort is aimed at creating links with universities and schools of photography. Meanwhile, the meetings of the FIAP Photo Academy online events have already started and will build up a regular rhythm in 2021. One of the objectives, we have to involve a great variety of qualified partners from great masters of international photography to photographic brands. Where possible, we also aim at decentralizing training and events and provide them in various languages in different regions such as Europe, Asia and South America in order to give all our photographers the opportunity to participate in these meetings. Let me welcome you to our world of FIAP. We need to thank Dr. Maurice van der Wijer, a Belgian medical doctor and an avid photographer for the formation of FIAP. He mooted the idea of forming a Federation for Photographic Societies in 1946. He envisioned that photography would be an ideal approach to friendly international friendship and interactions. With his frequent travel abroad, Dr. Van der Wijer managed to invite 17 nations to the first Congress in Bern, where FIAP was officially instituted as a world organization on 17 of June 1950. Since then, FIAP has grown to be one of the most important photographic organizations and is now based in Luxembourg. The primary purpose of FIAP is promoting photographic art in all its aspects and through all kinds of photographic events. All considerations of political, ideological, racial, and religious nature are totally excluded from FIAP activities. FIAP has been an UNESCO member since 1962. It is the only photographic organization in the world to be recognized by UNESCO. FIAP is a federation for photographic organizations. 
National federations of a country can join FIAP as operational members, limited to one in one country. IR FIAP and IL FIAP, which is regional and local membership, are open to regional and local photographic societies with reduced rights compared to operational members. Since September 2014, members of FIAP operational members, regardless of amateurs or professional photographers, are affiliated to FIAP. With members in 108 countries in the five continents, FIAP represents the interests of about 2 million amateur and professional photographers worldwide. FIAP Liosong officers Operational members in each country are represented by a FIAP Liosan officer appointed by the operational member. They receive information from FIAP periodically and disseminate them to their own members. Liosan officers also facilitate photographers in their country in applying for FIAP distinctions and patronage. At the same time, they also promote and participate in FIAP events and activities. For IRL FIAP and IL FIAP members, they have contact person. This contact person also receive FIAP information and disseminate them to their members and promote FIAP events and activities in their countries. FIAP is managed by the board of nine members elected by the Congress. It comprises a president, two vice presidents, a secretary general, a treasurer, and four members. The board is supported by different services composed by specialists in their respective fields. I shall explain the functions of some of the services later in the presentation. The current FIAP president, Riccardo Bussi from Italy, succeeded Emil Wondershap of Luxembourg as a seventh president in 2012. The Congress is the supreme body of FIAP. It is held every two years in the country of an operational member. The host country is appointed by the previous Congress, which is to say that any country which is keen to host the Congress will have to submit their proposal at the previous Congress. The first FIAP photo meeting was held in Sicily in 2007 and has been held every two years since then. It is a unique event to share our passion in photography, offering an opportunity to meet fellow photographers from other countries in the year when there is no FIAP Congress. The previous two photo meetings were very well attended. <coughs> the fifth edition in Jinan, held in 2017, was attended by 500 photographers from 48 countries. The sixth edition, in 2019, held in Morocco, saw 200 photographers from 38 different countries. FIAP Exhibition Centres The goals of FIAP Exhibition Centres are building a wide network of photographic exchanges and shows and giving a focal point to photographers from different parts of the world. The exhibition centres have been tasked to synergize with national federation in different countries in developing some important activities such as the organization of photographic events, workshops and seminars to satisfy the need of different photographers. FIAP Biennials FIAP Biennials are organized every two years in a different member country. The competition is open to FIAP operational members only. The different biennials are in black and white, nature, colour and youth photography.
Fiat World Cup. Fiat World Cup is an event dedicated to clubs worldwide. The competition is organized every two years. Any photographic organizations could participate with a selection of 20 photographs. In addition to the World Cup, the club with the best results for the previous five years will be awarded the Dr. Morris Dorican's Trophy. Every year, more than 600 competitions are organized worldwide under Fiat patronage, and several selected photographic exhibitions are held under the auspices of Fiat. Only photographic acceptances and awards in events with Fiat patronage are taken into consideration for the granting of Fiat distinctions. Fiat distinctions. There are three categories of Fiat distinction. The first category is to recognize photographers who have participated successfully in international salons under Fiat patronage. The second category is a portfolio distinction. And the third category is to recognize people who have contributed to Fiat and to photography. For those who participated in international salons, they can apply for the first level, AFIAP, or Artist Distinction. For Artist FIAP or AFIAP, the photographers must have participated in international salon for at least one year and have gained 40 acceptances from 15 different salons and from 8 different countries. After AFIAP, one can apply for EFIAP. Now, for EFIAP, there are altogether eight levels. For the first level, one has to be an AFIAP for at least one year and have gained 250 acceptances from 20 different countries and 30 different salons. After the first level of EFIAP, one can progress to the next level and all the way up to Diamond 3. For M Fiat Distinction or Master's Fiat, which recognizes one's uh, artistic achievements, the applicant has got to be a holder of E Fiat and has to submit a portfolio of 20 images to be judged by a specialist jury panel. The third category of uh, Fiat Distinctions are the ES Fiat for Excellent Services which recognizes exceptional services and contributions to fiat and photography for no less than five years. The Honorary Excellence Distinction or on e fiat recognizes extraordinary contributions to fiat and to photography. The distinction has to be approved by the Board of Directors. In order to cater to the enthusiasts of audiovisual presentations, FIAP has an audiovisual service. In June 2018, the first FIAP audiovisual production, Women Life Cycle, was made available to all FIAP exhibition centers, followed by Men at Work and Landscapes. The FIAP audiovisual series has two main goals. One, to contribute to the development of uh, exhibition centers, two, to make known the great Fiat photographic heritage. The audiovisual productions will be uploaded six months after their release on our Fiat YouTube channel and made available to all photographers. All the productions will always mention the author's name, the country of origin, and the title of the work. Obviously, Fiat paid for the right to use all the music. In peace and ending, never fiat in my heart.